triple tax. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about HSA Health Savings Account. And no, you're probably thinking to yourself, like, what's that got to do with investing and building wealth? Give me a chance to explain to you. Uh, before we actually jump into that, I want to remind you guys that I did another video here on the channel where we talked about um, setting up a Roth IRA account for yourself and putting money in there and investing it and why that is very important. So if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. And also, guys, I really do encourage you to actually set up that Roth IRA account and start putting money in there because that is what rich people do to build wealth. And the other thing that I I want to bring today now to continue that that logical step of you building wealth is your HSA account. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So your HSA account or health savings account has what you call the triple tax benefit. So triple tax in the sense that you don't get taxed when you put money into the account. Uh, you invest the money and it grows tax-free and then you can spend that money tax-free. So that's the triple tax. Who doesn't like to save on your taxes? Because I love saving on my taxes. And this is some of the things that rich people do to stay rich and poor people don't even understand or even know that this exists to take advantage of it. Most people, um, when they talk about health savings account at work, they just think, oh, this is solely for health. That's about it. They don't think about the fact that this is also an investment bucket that you can take advantage of. So how does it go get from health savings account into investing before we had FSA and now we have HSA the advantage with, H with HSA is that once you put money in there every year if at the end of the year you didn't spend a dime you were healthy you didn't go to the doctor you didn't spend anything that money gets carried over to the next year you can keep contributing as long as you meet your maximum contribution you are fine and that money can be in that account for I don't care 10, 15, 20, 30 years. As long as you're healthy and you don't need to use that money, that money continues to grow. When you have over $2,000 in that account, you can invest the balance. Let's say you have $6,000. You can invest $4,000 and keep $2,000 until that $4,000 can grow. You can buy some really good, uh, maybe some growth stocks or index funds or ETFs, whatever you're comfortable with, and invest that money. Uh, as that money grows, th those gains are not taxed at all if you use the money for health-related issues. So that is where that triple tax benefit really comes in. So you put in pre-tax money, you invest it, and it grows tax-free and then when you spend that money on uh, health related issues you spend it tax-free but if you spend it on something that's not related to your health and then uncle sam is obviously going to come there and be like hey pay taxes and a penalty um, usually 10 percent so you i want you to be aware of that so uh, the hsa account again guys i want you to not just look at it just from oh it's just uh, my health savings account i want you to look at it as an investment bucket so that you can start contributing money into the account if you don't have enough to put in there put at least just the minimum or if you have enough put in the max so let me kind of break it down here so that you can understand better so let's say you have four thousand dollars if you take that four thousand dollars and put it into an hsa account and your tax bracket is 25 percent that money goes into that account tax-free so if you have a medical related issue and you want to spend you have four thousand dollars to spend on that medical related issue but if you have four thousand dollars and you decide not to put it in an hsa account your tax bracket let's say is 25 percent they tax that money 25 percent you're down now to three thousand dollars and so if you have a medical related issue you only have three thousand dollars to spend whereas somebody that has an hsa has four thousand dollars to spend so to me those are the, the dynamics that i want you to understand why an hsa account is really important in building wealth so again i want if you do a combination of using your Roth IRA, using your 401k from your employer, and using your HSA, all those things put together, those are the things that 
keep the rich people rich because they take advantage of the system. You are not cheating the system in any shape or form. You are simply taking advantage of what the laws are. The laws allow you to. They provide an HSA because they thought people needed the HSA. So take advantage of it. Use all those different buckets. When you combine them, guys, you are on your way to building wealth. Because it's not just, hey, invest in the stock market. Yeah, investing in the stock market is one thing. If you have a traditional, just a traditional brokerage account, that the money that you make in that account, if it's over, a, if you buy a stock and hold it over a year and sell it, that would be considered capital gains. They will still tax it at maybe around 15%. If you buy it and sell it before, within a year, that would be considered income. And let's say your tax your tax bracket is 25%, you're gonna be taxed at 25%. But I want you to take advantage of all these other buckets that protects your money that you don't get taxed uh, with HSA or your Roth IRA so that you continue to build wealth like the rich people do. So again, let me know in the comment section, read about HSA days. There's limit as to, as far as how much you can contribute. I know those limits have been um, increased in 2021. If you are a family with a high deductible account, you can contribute, I think, up to $7,200. If you are single, you can contribute up to about $3,200. I'll have to double check the numbers, but you can contribute up to uh, $3,200. And if you are over 55, you do what they call a catch up. So you can add an additional $1,000 if you are single. And so let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Again, guys, my objective here is to kind of give you guys some of the tools to start building wealth. I don't want you to just think that, oh, it's just, oh, I'm just going to put money in the stock market and then, no, there's other things that you can do that will continue to help you be wealthy. Let me know in the comment section. If this was helpful, I'm going to continue to give you guys some tools like this that I'm actually using to build my wealth so that you guys can also continue to build wealth. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.